Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with Chandler McCormack. He's the CEO of Ox Blue, and this is the first time we've met up. We've been talking online for some time now, knowing that you're coming to the show. So that's why I wanted to meet up with you. Ox Blue, what is it all about and what have you been doing? Because it's a company that has grown exponentially in the last few years, isn't it? Yes, it has. Yeah, it's been great. So Ox Blue, is, our mission is to give our clients who are construction contractors as well as owners the power of remote vision of construction project right. for anywhere, anytime access, as well as a perfect memory of virtually every moment of that construction project. So fundamentally, this is one of the devices we've got here that allows you to do that. So how are you achieving that whole intelligent approach and uh, why do you use something like this? What is it? Okay, so this, uh, the Oxblue Cobalt camera system, yeah. is basically, a, it's a webcam on steroids built specifically for construction. Yeah. And so when we would say specifically for construction, a lot of webcams are built based on the security market, which is going yeah. to be video-based and, and lower resolution. And so what we're looking for is details of a project. We've got large areas. We want to be able to see, understand what's going on. And so this system is a higher resolution, typically 24 megapixels for documenting uh, larger construction areas. It's also cellular-based and solar, right. and suitable for solar power. So we can deploy these units not only to any project, but to put them on any location on that project to get the best view. Right, so, and you can, I take it, you can put multiple devices like this and connect them all together if you want to yep. say have a view of a building a around the different key points of that structure. Yeah, I, you know, typically it can be one or a number of systems on the project. And so our clients will be monitoring either a project or even projects, you know, around the globe to keep status of what's going on. So when we look at things like that, and what I'm really excited about with this kind of technology is actually being able to see the progress and document things mm -hmm. and learn. Now, obviously, when you've got a camera, you're going to have to have some software with that camera that right. does all the clever bits. So what all, apart from just the monitoring, are you able to do with the data and, and the images that you capture for your clients look with this system? Okay, so with our system, it's turnkey with the hardware, the software, the data connections, the full solution. And so we take care of everything. With it, it's, as you said, the time lapse. And so we're able to go back in from a visual standpoint, if we're capturing images through a project, it's too much for someone to realistically go through all of it. Yeah. And so our clients, they can look at what happened the last day, the last week, the last month, and just in a matter of 20 to 30 seconds, get an understanding of what has happened. We are also using AI to right. analyze all of that to be able to study construction activity, safety on a job site, equipment utilization, and um, project milestones. Well, I'm always very interested in safety, and I think safety, there's numerous different factors of that. It's whether people are wearing hard hats, yep. uh, whether people have got the right PPE on. It's building safety as well, so as whether things are constructed in the right fashion, in the right steps that they should yeah. be taken. And then it's overall how this site is laid out and functioning. Are people getting too close to vehicles? Things like that. That safety element is really important. And when you've got this kind of data and you can whiz through it, you can't necessarily see the individual moments. So that's where you're saying the AI comes in to identify certain behaviors. Yeah. You've trained the software to do that, have you? Yeah, so when it comes to the building side or some of the other parts, that's a matter of a human looking at the images and understanding what's going on over the course of a project. When it comes to particular safety items, like we think about hard hats, safety vests, that is where the AI is analyzing the images and then either creating reports or automatically triggering alerts to the user. And so if we have a safety manager for a project, uh, it can be an immediate alert yep. that there's been a, a, a safety item to, to check into, or it can be a daily summary of, if, here's all the issues that we saw today. Now, when you talk about those sort of things to people, and I've been on a lot of construction sites, sat on a lot of safety briefings, you can actually use that information for positive change, can't you? Yeah. Because you can show people what they're doing. You don't want to bash them over the head, per se, with that element, but you can show what's happening on a real job site with a real person. That makes a fundamental difference to behaviors and also a fundamental difference to a team when they're supposed to be looking after each other on a safety perspective, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it, it's really about uh, creating the awareness and the yeah. understanding in a way that you know, someone going through the photos couldn't do uh, efficiently in a manual sense. And so 
it's creating that kind of perpetual awareness of the project, but also then part of the, it's interesting you talked about the positive aspects of it, part of what we're doing is also scoring systems and saying, oh, this is you know, a four star, five star level of compliance on a project for safety. Right. And being able, so you look at, you've got a group of a dozen projects or, or more, and be able to rank those projects and be able to tell, hey, here are the projects that are really excelling and here's the ones where we need to put more attention. That's fundamentally great because what you've got with larger businesses, even smaller businesses, you can say, look, this is best practice and this is what we've learned on a site, this is why these guys are excelling. And also, that data's there for you to look back at when you've completed a project. Yeah. So, you know, lots of places I see at the moment, we're, we're, we're in London and literally down the road, there is lots of the same buildings, the same tower blocks being built. So the first one will be the first, so there's going to be things that the people have learned there. But once you get to the next one, every time you can utilize this information to improve uh, the way in which you, you build a structure and the way in which you manage that process. Yeah, it, It's also impartial. So when yeah. you have these multiple yeah. projects, it's not up to a particular manager on one project and how vigilant they are. It's being an impartial view and, and really ranking those projects against, against each other to be able to manage risk. And what's really exciting about all of this, so, uh, folks, is the fact that we've got a solution here that's very affordable. You know, it's designed for construction. It's not just a, we found a camera, let's plug it in and s sort of see if we can get information from it. But you've grown quite dramatically over the last few years. And there must be, you know, some of the key things that your clients have said, this is why we're working with Oxblue and this is why we like it. What are the, the key things that keep coming back and what are some of the unusual things that you get to, to see visually and, and that also make an impact? I mean, in, in over close to 20 years of doing this, which is making me feel a little old, <laughs> it, you know, in, in a lot of our business growth has been in the last, in recent years, um, it, you know, it's over 30,000 projects of experience deploying cameras to projects, understanding what clients actually need, and then refining and refining both the hardware and the technology solution to get there. Um, in regards to, uh, you know, is the question kind of what, what it's solving for them yeah, yeah. in there? It's um, in addition to really understanding, you know, quickly and accurately the status of a project, it's, uh, it's creating that awareness for everyone in the field. And so when I started, before we were in this business, I was on the civil engineering side. Oh, right, okay. And if I was lucky, I might make it to a project once a month because we were sitting in an office doing drawings, and we're doing drawings while things are changing in the field. And the ability to actually see it and know, you know, we're moving things on paper, but we're in the CAD system, and uh, you know, there's really concrete being poured in the field. It, it's, it's that level of communication and collaboration, um, as well as, I mean, frankly, a lot of peace of mind. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of risk, there's a lot at stake, there's uncertainty on schedules, um, and, and when you're trying to describe something by phone or email or just some still photos captured off of somebody's mobile, it's uh, when you get to watch the camera and see, you get up in the morning and you've got your cup of coffee, and yep. you're, you're seeing the project, it creates a, just a deeper level of understanding of what's going on and how it's progressing. And for me, that's not just about the constructors that are doing it. It's not just about the subcontractors that might be pouring that concrete. It's not just about the tier one that actually has to manage the project and report to the client. This information, this visualization can be given to the actual client themselves and they can see the progress for themselves so they can have confidence in what's going on on site. This is what it's all about. It's all about giving people greater, greater access to sites getting them confident about what's going on and making positive change. Look, great to meet you. Great Fantastic, meet you after all this time of talking that we finally put uh, faces to names and uh, Oxblue, certainly one to watch in the future. Cheers. Okay, good. Cheers.